really wasn't going to talk about this, <coughs> but I found out some more information thanks to these people upstairs, which, wow, they are not smart at all. Okay, cool. So I just found out that the reason why the kids have been so persistent in trying to upset me is because the mother told them to do it. And this is what I heard. I could have been wrong. I could be wrong. But from what I've heard, the mother was told to upset me because she was being paid to do it. So what we have here are perps and child perps. Now, the reason why the mother couldn't control the children from trying to upset me all the time is the same thing that always happens when you get a family of perps, right? Think about it from the child's point of view. When you're a child, you can't be mean to anybody because somebody will tell on the teacher or you'll get punished or something like that. When you're a child, being a perp is your one opportunity to exercise that cruelty that you're denied, to engage in that bad behavior that everybody else taught you was wrong. And on top of that, your own parent is telling you to do it. Think about it from the child's point of view. They're not going to get another opportunity like this. They're not going to get another opportunity like this to do something like this. So that's why children keep carrying on even after the mother says, no, nah, like chill. Because the children know if they don't do this now, they're not going to be able to do this to anyone else. So any opportunity they can get for bad behavior, they're going to fucking take it. They're going to take it, especially if there's pay behind it. They're going to take it. That's why the children keep carrying on. Because at the end of the day, as a child, you are told off for literally the smallest things. And then an, a wonderful opportunity comes along where you can say whatever foul thing you want to, to a person that is just minding their business. You can say whatever foul thing you want to them. Take all your anger, all your rage out on them. As a child, you're not going to understand the ramifications. You're not going to understand what's going on. So that's why child perps are usually really, really effective perps to use because they, they don't know any better. But then it, it, it basically reaffirms my suspicions that the mother is a perp too. And on top of that, I also suspect that the relocation agent is a perp because the relocation agent told these people confidential information about me and they've been using that person like a sounding board. So I think the relocation agent is also a perp. That's why I'm also suing the investment company. That's why I'm suing the investment company. Because they're the ones who are responsible for all of this going down. They're partnered with the council. So, but then again, the council are technically partnered with the company that doesn't exist. And, yeah. That's what we get, that's, what, that's where we've got problems. That's where we've got problems because... If the council are working with a company that technically isn't registered in Britain, then that's, that's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a problem. Even if the relocation agency is registered, like even if that name is registered, it's registered under a completely different business. So for me, it's just, the way it was handled was just not smart. Like these people are not smart. They're really not smart. Like everything that they do is just... And it's gotten to the point where if, if it gets to that level where they can use slurs, I'm not going to say it again because I'm going to end up cracking up. If they can use slurs openly, they know I'm filming. These people can hear me. They know I'm filming. If they can use slurs like that openly, even when they know I'm filming, then they think they're untouchable. They think they're untouchable, but they found out today that me like choosing to ignore them choosing to stay calm choosing to to just crack on and mind my business that's why they get scared because they realize if they can't control my emotions with their behavior they're not untouchable they're not untouchable anymore it's one thing for me to come online and talk about them but it's another thing for them to be able to control how I react. If I respond rather than react, they're put on the back foot and they have no control. That's why they're so 
like anxious about why I'm not kicking off like I usually do. But think about it from my position. If you've kicked off before and it hasn't stopped them, why would you do it again? A crazy person does that. I didn't get online so that I could stop them doing what they're doing. I got online so that I could just let everybody know what's going on. Why am I going to kick off again if I know that kicking off doesn't work? Ironically, I'm called the mad one and yet I'm the one who's not actually doing mad things. I'm the one who's basically saying, you know what? If one tactic doesn't work, I'm not about to do it again. That's what I'm doing. So I'm thinking, fuck it. If, you know, if these people won't leave me alone, I'll just focus on my work. Because they're not going to stop. What, what am I stopping for? That's what I'm saying. No, I mean, they're, they're not even stopping now. They think they're untouchable. They think, they think that nothing's going to happen to them. So let them think that. Let them think that. It's, it's just, it's no skin off my nose. None. You know, I'm enjoying the sunshine. I'm enjoying the beautiful view. I'm getting on with my work. I'm getting on with my shit. Let them do what they're doing. And let them freak out. Let them be anxious. I could give a damn about them. They, like, they don't have two fucking brain cells to rub together or two pennies to rub together. So it's a, it's a moot point. It sounds beautiful outside, isn't it? Look, hang on, look at, have a look at this. Hang on. I'll show you. Oh, look at that. Oh, like the sun is like directly on my face. I'm just soaking in all the vitamin D that I can. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be living here. Probably not long. And if I'm not going to be living here long, then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I've got to put stuff in place, right? So I've already done that. Nothing to worry about, nothing to be concerned about. All I have to do is just self soothe. Do what I need to do while these people are trying to rob me. It's not a bad, it's not a, you know, it's not a big deal. So hold on, let me just see. Because the sun's blinding me. Uh, let me just see how to turn it back around. Nope. There it is. Oh, yeah. So the sun's out. I'm alright. I already have stuff in place in case I leave here. So I'm not freaking out. I'm not freaking out at all. I'm organized. I'm getting organized. So that's all I need to do. Just stay organized and just, you know, be on my P's and Q's. And that's all I have to do. This is not worth worrying about. Yes, it made me angry. Yes, it made me furious. Yes, it made me anxious. And those feelings are still there. But I don't have to let those feelings weigh me down and have me acting out of character. I don't have to do that. Okay, let them let them be out of control. Let them reveal themselves every single opportunity they get because they're not smart people. So they're not smart people. So. And going back to the racial slur, everything that I told you about, they're still obsessed with it. I don't understand why they're so obsessed with it. I don't get it. I don't understand why they're so obsessed that I'm not bothered by it. I like being black. Like, what's there to talk about? <laughs> there it is. 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 I like being black. Like, there's nothing wrong with it to me. I like being black. It's as simple as that. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I like being black. I like it. Nothing wrong with it. I, I mean, sure. This world might see me as low on the totem pole. I could give a fuck. I'm sorry. Like, I like being black. It doesn't bother me. I used to think to myself, why doesn't racial slurs bother me nearly the way that it should? And then I had to really think about it. Because I've had slurs aimed at me about my sexuality, about, oh, you're gay. I'm like, and? Because I liked being queer. I liked being pansexual I like it I like who I am and it's the same with me being black I like being black I'm not saying that I love it I'm not saying that I love how people treat my skin color but I I love 
being like I like being black like I genuinely like it it's not something that I need to tell myself it's not something that I need to ch chump up my chest and that's what I realize now my dad always told me that if you need to tr you know puff out your chest and self-assert it means you don't really believe it but with me I never really need to ever since I was young I never really needed to puff out my chest about being black and all this because I already liked it if there was ever an occasion where it seemed like I didn't love my skin colour, that was because I didn't like the way I was treated because of my skin colour. It had nothing to do with my actual skin colour or my actual hair. I took my cues from how people were treating me. But now that I'm old enough to kind of articulate these feelings, no, I like being black. I'm, no, I like we like being black over here. I'm sorry. Like, no. I like being black over here. At the end of the day, if you don't like yourself and you don't like who you are, that's on you. And I feel like the reason why these people use the M word is because it's, it's for all the reasons why it offends other black people. And I feel that, like I said before, I cannot fault black people for not liking that word. I can't. I can't turn around to the rest of you guys and say, oh, you're being oversensitive. No, that's insulting. That's insulting. Given what our ancestors went through when they heard that word, given that, you know, for some black people, that's the last thing they hear before they're killed. For the same reason you're offended by it, it's the same reason why these people are saying it. They know it's wrong. That's why they said it. They said it because it was wrong, not in spite of it. They said it because it, it opens up your wounds. It opens up hundreds of years of torture and murder and rape. They say it because it reminds you of the poor souls who are stabbed to death or beaten to death or shot to death because of their race. They know, people like that know that it reminds you of all that. That it re-triggers you. They know that. That's why they do it. For the same reason you are offended. But black people. Just because you are offended. It does not make it wrong. Don't let nobody gaslight you. Don't let a damn soul. Gaslight you about nothing. Because at the end of the day. If it is serious to you. It is serious to you. And it is valid. And it is right. And you have the right. To, be, to react emotionally however you want to react to it. It's just that with me, it doesn't bother me. Because I like being black. Of all the things I could possibly hate about myself. Being black is not one of them. And I, I honestly thought that wasn't the case. But no, no. It, it was the case all along and I just didn't realise it. I felt like I wasn't angry enough so that I had to overcompensate. There's nothing to overcompensate. I like being me. The only thing I don't like is the weight. And even then, that's only because of the way people treat me because of the weight. And also, yeah, my back is fucking up. Like, no, I, I don't like the fact that my back is fucking up and my knees are fucking up and everything's fucking up. I don't like that. That's the only reason. But... I see so many beautiful big women as well, like, nah, nah, like, nah, I like being black, man, I love it, that's why it doesn't bother me, when you love who you are, they can try to use you as an insult, and it will never ever bother you, being mad, I mean, coming from these people, doesn't matter, because I'm not the one doing the same thing twice and expecting the same result, I'm not the one doing that, so, like, again, upset where? Why? I understand the implications, and I understand that those implications, you know, because these people put themselves above the law, there needs to be consequences. There needs to be consequences, like, from the interest of fairness. But to hear it from these people, like, no. No. No, no, it's just, no, it just doesn't bother me, it just doesn't bother me, bothers them, but not me, it bothers them that I like myself, it doesn't bother me that I like myself, 
well, I like myself, kind of. My relationship isn't quite there, but it's getting there. But no, one of the things, of all the things to hate about myself, being black, get the hell out of here. No, absolutely not. Yeah, so, anyway. Yeah. These people aren't very smart, so... I'm going to self-soothe. I'm still anxious and I'm still anxious and still angry and all the rest of it. Don't get me wrong, but again, you have to respond. You can't react. You can't react. You have to respond. And that's what I'm choosing to do. I'm choosing to respond. So I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Black people, I love you. People, anybody with mental illnesses, anybody who is who is slandered because of their mental illnesses, I love you, um, all my big women out there, big men, anybody who's fluffy, I love you, um, and all my TIs, shape, size, colour, regardless, religion, regardless, I love you, sexuality, regardless, I love you too, you guys are my rock, I love you, the queer community, I love you, you take care of yourselves, I love you, bye!